Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Chandra Marie, and I'm going to be taking my first look at the Life and Death expansion pack today. I haven't seen it at all. I'm really excited because I'm very into like the Grim Reaper and all of like occulty stuff, and I don't know what's in it yet. I haven't seen any spoilers. I'm a little bit late because I slept in, but I'm really hoping there's going to be like funerals and graveyards and like an active career or something, but I'm not sure yet. Without further ado, let's just get into it and watch the trailer. Oh, I like the outfits. <gasps> That's cute. Birds are fun. Looks like we have some psychics or something. Which, I mean, we thought, oh, a little ghost in the background. Oh, I love the furniture. I like the animation. Cute town. Oh, I like this town a lot. Oh, there's so much stuff. Definitely looks like we can do funerals. Pouring one out, that's real cute. And eulogies. Oh, Will's interesting. <clears throat> All the different ways to die. This is a new. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's interesting. You have a bucket list. I wonder if ghosts are going to get more fleshed out. Okay, Grim Reaper career. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, this is really interesting. All the cemeteries. Yay. Okay, that seems really interesting. Interesting, and then we got our little like mementos at the end there. Mournful Melodies music box, lasting legacy family portrait. All right, that reminds me of um, Ravishines. I wonder if it's a similar thing. The, I'll link the Ravishine mod because it's wonderful. And the plumed elegance mask. Sorry if you hear my cat, she's just talking in the background. All right, so I'm going to go back through. I'm going to mute it this time. <clears throat> Maybe make it a little bit slower. And I guess I know I miss so much, but I just kind of want to see, like, some more details. Let's try this again, see what we see. I'll pause it, too. So obviously we got a lot of new clothes. <clears throat> I like the little um, the flags. The, with the ravens on them. I'm wondering more about the birds. The style is cute. It's kind of like a dark academia, which I am into. And we've got this little square. I'm guessing this is like the town square. Got people doing this animation that you we can't get rid of because everyone is doing it constantly. Um, what's a cute little town square? I'm hoping this is a town square and not an actual lot because this seems like it's an actual lot. <laughs> and I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just being bratty. Oh, here's a, over here. Yeah, okay, you can see my thing. Here's a little ghost walking around. 
because like these are the ghosts from paranormal so i'm guessing there's going to be more of them the little spirits we've got so here's the guy with the bird so we can have pet birds now i don't know why he's dressed as a bird that's really weird um and like everyone's all excited about it <laughs> he's getting attacked by a bird I wonder if we can dive from that because that would be hilarious. I'm really curious as to what deaths are going to come with this pack since it's obviously a death pack. So we like I'll be surprised if we don't get at least one. They're cute. And then we have the psychic here. So we got in the background, we've got like them playing with the little ghost. I do love the paranormal pack. So I think they'll be fun together. We'll see how that works. And then... <clears throat> Obviously, I'm not a huge fan of the hairs, but you know what? Like, the styling isn't my favorite that we've done. They're probably running out of ideas at this point. But, so we have, like, tarot cards. I'm curious if you can be a psychic. Probably. I would expect you to be able to, because in the 2020 uh, survey, they talked about being a psychic and, like, having that as a career that you could do also the grim reaper career so obviously this is very heavily inspired by the 2020 survey that we all did he wants to know about death oh i like her ring that's a cute ring got a little watch i don't know if that's a new one but the ring is definitely new We got the whole family and her with her little turquoise hair. And then he's finally passing away, which I'm guessing this is a fireplace. I love this. I think this is absolutely awesome. Not to make light of him passing away, but you know, just seeing what else is in here. We got, I don't know what this is. Is it the Grim Reaper or is it like an executioner with that? Like a halberd. Oh. Yeah, it's an executioner. Okay. Aha. And then nothing else really looks that much new. Like the, the fireplace, the windows. Like there's a lot of new stuff. We got like this, the store, <clears throat> his whole outfit. Which is it's very like realm of magic. Which like obviously isn't bad, but having I don't know. Like at least they'll go together, but I'm not sure if it feels unique enough. I love this animation though. It's really cute and I really hope that this is a thing. <laughs> because it's not like it'd be the first time that they put something in a trailer, but I'm guessing it's actually a thing. Life and death. Ooh, I really like that. That's cute. I don't think I've actually seen this yet. It's a little raven. I am a fan of Edgar Allan Poe, so I'm always here for a raven. So here's our little town. Looks like, you know, obviously most of this is just set dressing. This one might be real. Can't tell. This one, I believe. Yeah, this one is real. This is a lot. Um, what's going on with the roof here? Ooh, we've got like a roof decal to make it look like it's falling in. Interesting. Like that. I do like fixer uppers. And we've got like a castle up here. It's very cute. It is very cute. We've got some bridges. I'm interested in seeing the walking area. Yep, we got some decals here. Make the roof look like it's coming in. Or falling in. Cute little lake. I'm not sure if it's going to be swimmable, but it's definitely cute. Some fish there, at least. I like the little, little hill in the back here. Giant. They're really into fountains. That's a giant fountain. I mean, it makes sense in this setting. Oh, right here, we got, like, selling caskets. Can you imagine just walking into, like, downtown and there's just a whole bunch of caskets, caskets just sitting there waiting for somebody to buy them. This is a really interesting building and I'm thinking that maybe this one is actually real. Most of these obviously aren't. That's cute. That's massive if you compare it to the little dock. So here we got a ton of new things. Um, I like the little chairs. They're really interesting. It's a very interesting style. I'm not sure how usable it's going to be in general but i like do like the style i love this fireplace 
and we got like a little altar here you can have some incense and stuff we got um maybe we have new frogs or a new collectible they did the axolotls in the last one so maybe they're going to do a new one in this one too <clears throat> and yeah we got obviously like the new bookshelves that's definitely the grim reaper there got new, well, i mean just like everything's new new floor new walls new rugs definitely a new casket Then here we can have how you can do a funeral. So we have a podium. Makes sense. You could already do a eulogy at a podium if you had an urn in your inventory, I believe. I've never actually done it because I just heard that you could do that. And I was like, huh. And then I think I looked it up and I was like, or I like put an urn in my Sims inventory and did it. And I was like, oh, I guess you can. Um, but obviously we never really actually had funerals. So it's nice that we can actually do something like this. I love the little pictures. I'm curious as to how we get these pictures. My husky is talking in the background. But it's cute. I, I do like the chairs. They're very interesting. I like this a lot. Got like all of the little... Oh, it's very a lot of like tarot card pictures. I'm interested in what this is. Because in Realm of Magic, you know, we have like the portal that takes you to the Realm of Magic. Um, but this, I'm guessing, is like the life and death portal or something. I don't know. It's interesting new urn if that is an urn then we have yeah just a whole bunch of different ways you can do your funerals very cute i love that we actually have platforms so we can do something like this now love this chair love this chair this is wonderful and then you just have everyone at the funeral Ooh, I like this animation of lighting the candle. I think I kind of skipped over that last time. I do like that, though. Just got people. I like her outfit a lot here. This is cute, too. I do like purple. This, this is interesting. Like, being able to toast, to pour one out. I do like all the little things, being able to, like, you know, put your hands together like the kids did. And centering herself so she can do her eulogy. That is very sweet. I love her earrings too. And now it's time for the will. And I find this like super interesting too. I have mods for inheritance, but I haven't like, obviously this hasn't been in the game. So it's really nice. I'm really curious as to how this is going to work and if it's going to actually be a thing. I want to not get too excited because I know that The Sims has a tendency to tell us have a really great idea and then I actually do it well so <laughs> but if nothing else I'm I'm excited to see what they do with it love her shirt that's cute I'm not really into the men's clothing in this one though maybe it's just me oh fighting over inheritance that'll be a lot of fun that'll be a lot of fun to play with and then all the pictures of her dad at different times I love the ghost cow plant. Like, what is going on there? Interesting tree. Curious to see where that is. Got our ghost cow plant. <laughs> They're fighting in the background. And the well, which gives her the idea to go to the well. Yeah, I do like the swampy, the swampy look. And bring back more of those Willow Creek trees. So we've got Soul's Journey, Liv's Bucket List. Obviously, don't know a ton about this yet. I haven't read anything yet. So, find the well of longing and regret. So, obviously, this is the well. You put something in there, and then she's got, like, a whole bunch of things on there that she wants to do. Angry ghost child. Can children die in the vanilla game? Toddlers can't. Infants can't, because they just get taken away. Unless you, like, cheat it somehow. I think children could die. Love this. This is so cute. I would wear this just every day. I mean, it's a swimsuit, but I would wear it if I was swimming. Okay, so you can swim in the lake. Good, good, good. And then woohooing with a ghost, you know, always there for it. Actually, I'm going to pause because I want to look at the room a little bit. I do like this. I love this bed. 
<clears throat> so we got some cute uh, new art. We got some cute artwork. This window is really, I love like how it goes up there. And then this is just, we're going to go full. Like if you want to make a castle, you're going to have a lot of furniture for it. This back. Otherworldly adventure. Well, obviously that was the woohooing a ghost, but this is, doesn't look. Yeah. And I was like, this doesn't look like it's in like a normal sim world. This, it probably like went through the portal or something. I'm turning into a ghost from swimming in this. Curious as to what this does. Cause I'm, ass I'm assuming this is going to have like an actual gameplay. I don't know if it's going to be anything very interesting, but got a bar because of course we have to have a bar very gothy bar hold on want to see that guy's outfit again you know go back more that's a look that is a look i don't hate it i don't really like most of the clothing which is usually like my thing not and i'm also very into gothy stuff so i'm kind of surprised it's not really my jam maybe i'll like it more once i actually like see it so now we've got the job reaping souls. I like that he's sitting there on the computer and then also right there. <laughs> but interesting. Ooh, oh my god, I want my Sims to have size. <laughs> that sounds like so much fun. I know you're not gonna be able to really do anything. Ooh, I wonder if we're gonna be able to get up to mischief with this, because that would be a lot of fun. So here she is. I'm guessing she's sending souls to the other world. Pause where I want you to and not where I tell you to. There we go. So, yeah, she's harvesting souls while Grimm's doing his little thing in the background. I've got, I do like this outfit. This one's cute. And, yeah, we're just all sitting here. I like the little, got little skulls. I like this over here. This wallpaper is cute. But, yeah, so it looks like we got a Grim Reaper career. This is so funny to me that he takes it off and it just blurs it out. <laughs> I love that. I want to see this interaction in the game. <laughs> oh, and then just remembering her memories with her dad. That's real sweet. Honestly, really cute trailer. I like the trailer a lot. I like this hair. This one's fun. So we're looking at all like the different types of graveyards. Finally, finally, we can have graveyards. It has been insane that it took 10 years for us to get graveyards. But I'm loving this. We got the mausoleums. We got the tombstones. Like, I love this one too. So I like that we can do different types of graveyards because not like every place does graveyards the same. This one is very much my jam. Bury me here, please. I like that one too. And yeah, they're real cute. I love her dress. This one's fun. And yeah, I really like these pictures and I want to know how to do these pictures. And then there her dad is, her, his little ghost, and he's going to go off to the, un, like, to the other side. There he goes. Oh. Anyway, embrace what's next. And then we just got a little baby floating down. I'm curious as to what that's about. But no. And then we have Grim come in. Anyway, and I think he talked about powers too. I don't know. I'm going to have to listen because now I'm curious. Normal and CC. See if it'll give me a... Okay. There we go. His ghostly powers and his unfinished business. So kind of curious as to how that's going to... 
impact like is this going to happen like every time you die because it's going to be a pain in the butt if you have to do something every single time a sim dies but if it's something you can do when you want to that sounds like fun i am here for this that is always what i want this is leave my captions alone anyway i am gonna go read more about this on my own but i just wanted to give my first impression of the trailer honestly i'm very excited the world is cute it's honestly kind of what i expected it's because you're gonna go with like a european gothy vibe that makes sense and <clears throat> i'm loving the graveyards i'm loving that we get like a, it looks like a couple new careers i don't know if the psychic is a full career but definitely seems like the Re reaper is this will be a lot of fun to mix with the paranormal stuff pack which is one of the best stuff packs if you don't have it if you like paranormal stuff if you don't then you're never going to use it and whatever but it's cute and i love everything that comes in it but all in all i'm excited for this i cannot wait until the 17th so i can watch the whole gameplay trailer i hope you guys are excited as well i think this comes out the same day as fail guard and i'm not looking forward to having to play both of those on the same day but i'm excited nonetheless i hope you guys are having a wonderful day and i'll talk to y'all later bye